Hi, and welcome back to Football Made Simple. A top of the table encounter took centre stage in the Bundesliga as Hansi Flick's Bayern hosted Julian Nagelsmann's Leipzig. Bayern wanted the win to open up an early season 5 point gap, whilst a win would have given Leipzig the faith that they could go all the way this season. In the end, it was a fascinating 3 all draw thanks to goals by Musiala and a Muller double for Bayern, whilst Nkuku, Kluivert and Forsberg netted for Leipzig. The XG showed that both teams were clinical, 1 to 1.56 with Leipzig creating the better chances. The XG time map shows that chance creation wise, Leipzig were ahead for most of the match. But what tactics did both managers use? Let's take a look. Here's how both teams lined up courtesy of the One Football app, with Flick sticking to a 4-2-3-1, whilst Nagelsmann's 4-2-2-2 on paper was as fluid as ever on the pitch. If you love football, One Football is the perfect app for you, giving you formations, match updates, breaking news, transfers, and more. And you can get it absolutely free for your phone through the link in the description below. Let's first look at what Bayern did in possession. When possible, they looked to build up through the first phase short. This became easier as the game went on, as once ahead, Leipzig didn't press particularly high, often forming a mid-block instead. This is shown by an uncharacteristically high passes per defensive action of over 23, and their general defensive shape varied throughout the match. Initially, they favoured a 4-3-3, particularly when Bayern built with the back two. Forsberg looked to cut off the route infield to the other centre-back, meaning that the wide pass would be the only option, and this would be the trigger for the Leipzig winger to look to pressure the fullback, and they looked to win the ball in these wider areas. In addition, this shape meant that the higher central midfielders could look to push onto Bayern's pivots, whilst Adams, often the deepest man, could look to marshal Muller between the lines. But Bayern could shift to a three-man backline, particularly when Martinez was on the pitch and this could draw the extra man higher on the press creating space in midfield. But when Muziala came on and tended to stay higher up the pitch, Leipzig still pressed with a two-man frontline, with Kluivert tucking in next to Forsberg as they shifted to a 4-4-2 with Nkuku and Haidara wide. This could be advantageous as when they pressed 2 versus 2, they had a good chance of winning the ball and this led to some good situations. However, it also created promising situations for Bayern, as they would look to push both fullbacks high. This was especially evident when Leipzig's now double pivot was drawn to Bayern's. Coman in particular looked to tuck in from the left as Alaba pushed high up. This was also often the trigger for Lewandowski to look to drop deeper into the hole at times with Muller running in behind as there was space between the lines. And this also shows up in the average positioning. And as both Upamecano and Kuyate are aggressive defenders, they could push out and this would create space in behind them. We see shades of this in Muller's goal. Leipzig are defending in a front two and the ball comes to Muziala. He drives up the pitch and we see a Leipzig pivot drawn towards the ball. And as they are in a 4-4-2, there's no cover in behind the double pivots. Lewandowski has dropped to pick the ball up between the lines, which draws Upamecano high. Koeman has tucked in as Alaba is high and he plays in Muller, making the run into the space vacated by Upamecano. And generally, Bayern played with a high line, as after losing the ball they would look to counter press, with a much lower passes per defensive action of just over 12. And Leipzig consistently looked to take advantage of this, looking for the ball to the runner in behind. This is how their first goal comes about. There is a turnover deep in Leipzig's half, and Bayern looked to win it back quickly, but the first man is bypassed. Forsberg then gets between the lines, draws Boateng and gives Nkuku space to run into. Neuer misjudges the situation, giving Nkuku the open goal. 
But as the game went on, Leipzig became impatient with this tactic, not looking for the first line between the lines first before going long. Instead, they went route 1, meaning that they gave up possession easily time and again. But Leipzig were also dangerous in their control play. They looked to build up short from Golashi, with both centre-backs coming into the box. Adams would be the first option outside the box with Zabitza or Haidara higher. This meant that if Lewandowski was drawn in on the press to one of the centre-backs, one of Leipzig's midfielders would be free. So instead, he often remained deeper, putting the onus on Coman and Sane to push higher on the press. This, of course, would leave a fullback free to receive the ball, and if a man came across to cover, with Forsberg dropping deep, they had options in midfield to progress. Another interesting mechanism was when either of the centre-backs had the ball. Both are great on the ball and look to dribble into midfield to create the man advantage, but this creates problems if they are dispossessed as it leaves an obvious gap. This aggressiveness works against them for Bayern's third. Kuyate charges out to win the ball from Muller and he continues to chase after doing so. So Tyler Adams has to drop deep to cover. The cross comes in at the back post and Adams is overloaded and Muller finishes. But Leipzig had success building up higher on their right hand side. When building with their 4 3 3, we often saw Haidara move into the half space, whilst at the same time, Forsberg dropped deeper as a false nine to occupy a pivot. An Alaba was often drawn to Haidara to try and stop the progression, often leaving Clivert free in wide spaces behind him, which led to some dangerous situations. Overall, it was an exciting match, showing that both teams will undoubtedly be near the top of the table come the end of the season. As always, not every tactic can be covered, so drop anything else you noticed down in the comments below. And if you want even more content, whilst helping to support the channel, consider checking out my Patreon at patreon.com slash footballmadesimple. You'll get early access to videos, exclusive videos, as well as access to the upcoming FMS video podcast. And as always, a big thanks to my current Patreons. But that's all for today and remember, keep it simple.